Hello and welcome to the latest Stockport Academy School Report, where we'll be bringing you all the news about what's happening this half term. I'm your Year 8 reporter, Evie Griffiths. Our first story tonight is about the recent Stockport Academy School production of Hairspray Junior. Last week, our amazing students and staff pulled off a fabulous three-performance run of this all-singing, all-dancing, fun-packed show. After weeks of preparation, hard work and rehearsals, the musical was a huge hit with parents and teachers alike. Auditions were held last October and the chosen stars threw themselves into the task of learning the extensive scripts, song lyrics and dance choreography. No easy task I'm sure anyone would agree. The Academy kindly provided a budget for the amazingly colourful sets and costumes, which included a larger than life can of hairspray and some amazing wigs and dresses for the whole cast. The musical is set in 1960s Baltimore, an American city to the northeast of Washington, and centres on a teenage girl, Tracy Turnblad, who dreams of dancing on the Corny Collins TV show. However, she experiences different kinds of prejudice along the way and discovers that she only wants to make her dreams come true if she can dance alongside her multiracial friends. She also finds love on this song-filled journey of self-discovery. It's a heartwarming tale that offers something for every generation. Along with the odd tear from the many proud parents in the audience, there were plenty of glowing reviews too, with one parent saying it was the best school production she's ever seen. She also stated that everything about it was so professional. Despite some unexpected technical difficulties during the show, the students still managed to stay calm and sing, dance and act their hearts out. Thanks to its colourful sets and costumes, excellent student performances and highly organised behind the scenes crew, this production will be one that Stockport Academy will not forget quickly and I for one enjoyed it immensely. Our next story is about one of the oldest board games in existence. In the age of fast paced computer games and high speed entertainment, you may not think that many school children would be excited about a much slower moving game of strategy and skill, but chess is still a popular pastime here at the academy. In fact, a chess club takes place as an after school enrichment three times a week in the school library. It is a popular activity and here to tell you more about it and our upcoming chess tournament are Leah and Leah. Hello, I'm Leah. And I'm Leah. And we're here with Mr Jones in the library to find out more about the chess tournament. So I'm here with Mr Jones, the English teacher, and we're going to speak about the chess tournament that Mr Clark is starting. Everyone's free to enter and the prize is an Amazon voucher and they get to play Mr Jones. So why are you getting involved in the chess tournament? I'm getting involved because I'm a keen chess player myself and what's more, I enjoy nothing more than crushing the hopes and dreams of young people that dare to believe they might be brave enough to take me on at chess. It's completely ridiculous and I can't wait to embarrass whoever the winner is by crushing them in the final. What skills does playing chess encourage you to develop? Um, chess is, is, is one of the oldest board games in the world. It's been around, I believe it was invented by the ancient Chinese and the reason it stood the test of time is that it encourages long-term strategy. So it's not about thinking about your next move, it's about really thinking you know, five or six, seven moves down the line and judging where you're going to be in relation to your opponent then. So chess is a metaphor for life really because you know in life it's not about living day by day, hour by hour, but it's about having sort of long-term goals that you can work towards and achieve over time. So what do you like about chess? I like the fact that it's something that you can do wherever you are. Today you know we have mobile phones and laptops so if I'm waiting at the bus stop I can get my phone out and have a game of chess with somebody living in India and it's a great way to pass the time and to use your brain. Um, I also like the way it kind of forces you, because today's world is so busy, chess really forces you to sort of stop and take some time out and, and think for a bit, which I think is, is definitely a good thing. Do you have any advice for people who are new to the game? Um, yeah. In chess, it's really easy to kind of lose within the first five or seven moves if you don't know what you're doing. So. What you should do starting out is make sure you get yourself like an app on your phone or a book of chess openings and just learn the basic strategy behind like the first five or six moves and the sort of patterns that you need to employ and respond to so that you don't throw the game away before it started, I'd say. OK, that's all for now. We hope you learnt something new about the tournament. Bye. Now it's over to Ben for all the latest sports news. It has been quite a successful year so far for our school sports teams. The Year 7 boys football team beat Priest Knoll 4-3 in a thrilling game with goals from Owen, Ben, Kieran and Jack. Unfortunately, the Year 9 boys football team lost 3-2 to Priest Knoll after going 2-0 up. The girls football team came 9th out of 40 school teams in the tournament at Manchester City. 
Elsewhere, Alexandra Park Primary School won a dodgeball tournament hosted in our sports hall by our sports leaders. They beat St Matthews, Bridge Hall and Cheadle Heath to win the title. Back to you Evie. Thanks Ben. Now it's time to hear about what the weather will be doing from our weather reporter Oscar. Thank you Evie. We start today with temperatures of 8 degrees and highs of 12 towards midday. As the day progresses there will be more likelihood of showers, mainly throughout late afternoon. On Friday we will start the day with lows of 4 to 5 degrees and a low chance of rain. Later in the day we will hit highs of 9 degrees. With the increasing temperature the chances of showers become much greater. From late afternoon heading towards early evening, it's likely to get wet in Stockport, so don't forget your brolly. Travel on the motorways may be affected, so please take care when travelling home from work. To start off the weekend, we will have a cloudy but sunny day, with lows of 3 degrees and highs of 15 and noon. Throughout the day there will be light showers with highs of 13 degrees, but do not fear, as we will see the sun at intervals throughout the day. That's all from us now. Thank you for watching Stockport Academy's BBC School Report. We'll see you again soon.